So with Sony out there setting up their own universe, which of course is going to connect and then eventually go on its own separate from the MCU, many people are now coming up with the conclusion that the ultimate goal for Sony is to give us that live action Spider-Verse. So let's talk about this and when we could realistically get that film. So as I talk, I'll just play some of that footage I have from Marvel Spider-Man since I'm replaying the game currently. Enjoy the change here. Okay guys, so you have probably seen articles on various websites. You know, Marvel Studios may or may not be working with Sony to include Morbius and Venom. We don't know. We won't know the full size, scale, and scope of this till the end of the year really. But it looks like Sony is trying their best to kind of uh, be in the MCU without directly being in it. So with that in mind, what is their end goal? And, you know, I decided to kind of just make this video looking at it and reading what some of the other websites said. And more or less everybody has the same exact foregone conclusion. Sony cannot make their own Avengers with the lack of characters they have. What they can do is make their own Spider-Verse. This has proven to work in the animated fashion, so your next natural step is to bring that into live action. Now, why exactly would they do this other than money? And the answer is money, and maybe even satisfying fans. So when you look at what their realistic approach is down the road and what they have in development, we know that Spider-Man is going to be multiversing according to Kevin Feige. Because he openly said that that's kind of like an idea, right? We know that they're planning to introduce a Madam Web somewhere down the road for the Sony side of things. Now, who knows if she's going to tie into the upcoming Doctor Strange sequel or into the third Spider-Man. We don't really know. Once you introduce Madam Web, there's your open, you know, invite into the Spider-Verse. And I think once you have that, you start to understand the direction they want to go in. And the direction you want to go in is to satisfy everybody and bring in generational crowds. Now, what the MCU did to make Avengers Infinity War than Avengers Endgame so big is a generational gap of a decade. Now, you know, that might not sound like a lot, but if you think about it, a 10-year-old that saw Iron Man was 20 to 21 with Infinity War and Endgame. That's pretty big. Somebody that was 20 at the time, chances are now they have their own kid. You know, they're 30 to 31. And they want to pass that along and go enjoy it with their 10-year-old. Now, Spider-Man lends himself towards an even bigger gap, considering you have the current modern version. You have the Amazing Spider-Man, which, believe it or not, people are nostalgic about that one. And then you have Tobey Maguire's, you know, Sam Raimi's version, which that's the ultimate nostalgia trip for people like me. If you can somehow muster up a plot to unite a bunch of villains and then bring together all these different spider people, you are literally using what I would call a license to print money. Like, there's no way that's a misfire unless you make the absolute worst film ever. But even that won't really matter and won't impact it considering we've seen films with terrible scripts make a ton of money. You know, terrible films make, make good money all the time, like Transformers, for example, right? Well, don't use the latest ones, for examples, you know, like the extinction or whatever the hell, that doesn't matter whatever the fifth one was maybe there was a sixth one i don't know you get what i'm saying though right that's a diminishing return franchise but i think that's got to be their ultimate goal and i think it's evident as day that that is the direction they want to go in considering that that is the thing that can save pretty much anything you're doing i mean you literally just have to look at the comics and realize that that sells tremendously for spider-man and Spider-Verse, the concept, you already pulled it off in an animated film. And you didn't even need to dump a bunch of exposition. People just accepted it. Now, you don't need to, you know, throw Andrew Garfield in there and be like, okay, let's fill you in on every single aspect of his story since Tasm 2 ended. But you can put that in there in a, you know, lighter way and get through it. So, merging everything and uniting one... I think that makes sense, and if we look at recently what's happened with, uh, you know, Crisis and DC, and even they've realized that that's what you gotta do to get all the headlines, it, it just makes sense. That's Sony's end goal. Their end goal is Spider-Verse in live action. 